I'm so excited for my very first tag video. A lovely lady named Rena tagged me to do this video and she has a channel called Fancy Frugal Fashion. I think this is such a great idea. The ladies are tagging other creators who are under a thousand subscribers. I'm definitely well under that amount. <laughs> so be sure to subscribe to Rena's channel, Fancy Frugal Fashion, as well as to mine and any ladies that I tag as well. So the tag is five Louis Vuitton bags that I fell in love with at first sight and why. I thought it would be super cute to start with the very first Louis Vuitton bag that I saw and fell in love with because I ended up recently purchasing it this year. Back when I was in high school and still watching music videos, <laughs> I saw this bag a few times on TV as well as I think the Simple Life TV show back in college. It wasn't until I got my first taste of vintage Louis Vuitton earlier this year that I remembered how badly I wanted this bag. So I went ahead and I got it. This is the Louis Vuitton Papillon and the size 30. Papillon is a French word and it means butterfly. So you can easily see that this is the body of the butterfly is the bag and the handles are the wings. And I fell in love with this bag in the rainbow print. <laughs> The rainbow print, I mean, obviously I was very young back then. When I saw this bag on the vintage market in the classic monogram and the dark treated canvas for the straps instead of the machete leather, I had to get this. This bag is 28, almost 29 years old, and it's in great condition, in my opinion, for a bag that old. It is the coated canvas with the coated canvas straps. Again, it's not the machete leather. So when I saw it hit the vintage market, I mean, it brought back so many memories that I had to have it. The next bag, I fell in love with this bag when I saw it. I did not plan on purchasing any bag this day, but we went into the store and my husband actually fell in love with this bag as well. So it was a pretty impressive bag. Some people hate it, they absolutely hate it, and some people love it. And I just fell in love with it. It comes in a different color, but I fell in love with the red Urs Fisher Memory Sketch BD25. In an interview, Urs Fisher described that he was drawing the Louis Vuitton classic monogram, the flower pattern, in what he described as a memory sketch. I got this in 2021, although the design came out in 2020. It was very surprising to actually get this bag. It was on my 10 year wedding anniversary. We came into the store just looking around and my husband fell in love with it just as much as I did. And he thought it was so cool that he suggested that we get it as another anniversary gift. And that memory has stuck with me. So I love the fact that I created or we created a memory together around this bag and the pattern is described as the memory sketch. Now, some people say that Urs Fischer, who is a Swiss artist, defaced <laughs> the Louis Vuitton monogram pattern, but I kind of look at it, I mean, of course, as art. I treat my bags as art and I collect them as if they're art. So I really loved the fact that it was kind of dreamy. To me, it looks like you're in a dream. Now, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, it's up to you, but to me, it just depends on how you style this bag. I usually have a very simple outfit on whenever I wear this, it's quite busy, but I love that. This one is definitely, to me, a work of art. Now this next one, surprisingly, I tend to forget about, which is really weird because every time I see the bag again, I'm reminded of how much I love it and loved it at first sight. I have it stuffed the way that I store it, so just excuse that. This is the Louis Vuitton Kimono Tote. Now when I first saw this bag, I was very much in my diaper bag era. I was pregnant with my second child. It was 2015. I wanted something that was a little more fancy than the Neverfull. At the time, we were traveling a lot and doing a lot of things, and I was about to give birth, and so this was a push present. I remember us going into the Louis Vuitton store, and as much as my husband doesn't think he's part of the problem, he's part of the problem. He actually saw this bag. It was the only one all the way at the very top on display and they said that there weren't any others in store. This isn't as popular of a bag. I just thought it was so beautiful because of the geometric lines on this bag. I just thought that the combination of the black leather and the traditional monogram print was beautiful. The fact that it was a tote bag and allowed me to carry a lot of items was definitely a plus. So I immediately fell in love with this bag. I didn't use it as much as a 
diaper bag as I thought I would because I thought it was so elegant and pretty that I didn't really want to use it too much or damage it. I still use this bag. It's in perfect condition and I still get compliments on it to this day. This next baby was one that I got when we were traveling, which I think this may have been the one that started that whole issue. We were in Hawaii. Again, not looking for anything, but we wanted to see what the different stores offered. And I came across the Lock Me 2. You all know from the last video that I have the Lock Me bucket bag, which I absolutely love. So this came out in 2015 and I actually had never seen it in store. In 2017, when we were in Hawaii, I saw her. She's pink with tan. She's got a little bit of olive green. Pink is basically my favorite color. And then I love the fact that the tan can make it versatile and kind of a neutral. So I wear this bag as if it's a neutral bag. To me, it kind of goes with everything. But in the spring and summer, I absolutely love wearing this, especially if I have anything that has a hint of pink in it. It just really makes it pop. I take this bag a lot when we travel because it can be worn with so many different things and a lot of different ways. So it has the removable strap here to where you can carry it with just the top handle to make it a little more elegant. The silver hardware is usually something I don't do but I think with this color combination it looks absolutely beautiful. The colors remind me kind of of like a rose like a pink rose. We have the green for the stems and the leaves. We have the pink which would be like the color of the rose and then we have the tan so to me that's like the dirt. <laughs> it really does remind me of something beautiful. I am still in love with this bag. This next bag, I was very much in my work era and I needed something that was like an everyday bag, but needless to say, once I got this, I didn't even take it to work. It was kind of too fancy. <laughs> this is the Louis Vuitton Serene MM in the black and the monogram. A lot of people also have mixed feelings about this bag. To me, it was so well-crafted. At the time, I was in the store and I just said, well, what do you have that's new? Because I had kind of seen everything in the store at that point. They had just gotten this in stock. Unfortunately, they have since discontinued this bag and I don't know why because it's, oh, it's just a dream. It's functional, but it's also beautiful. It came with the feet on the bottom. It came with a luggage tag that they will heat stamp for you. The comfortable leather straps, even though it's got this like ornate, beautiful gold chain, it's got three major compartments. So I treat this like a tote bag. It can fit so much stuff. When I was first looking at it, I was trying to think for functionality. What would be good for everyday use? What could fit a lot of things? At this point, I already had three children. I knew I wanted one more, but we weren't pregnant yet and so I was kind of thinking along the lines of now that I'm a little more efficient with what I carry in my diaper bag what could I use the bag for to me this one made a great diaper bag if you're not carrying everything in the kitchen sink if you can kind of tone down the amount of things that you take with you this is a great mom bag a great diaper bag a great work bag a great everyday bag that you can make a little casual with just wearing jeans and a t-shirt or dress it up and wear something really nice and this is definitely going to match a more elevated outfit as well. And to be honest, it's probably my most used bag from Louis Vuitton. All of these bags I definitely fell in love with at first sight. I can give more in-depth reviews about the bag themselves if you would like that. At this point, I just wanted to show what the bag was and why I fell in love with it. Some stole my heart faster than others, but when I thought about the reasoning behind most of the bags, everything except for the Papillon was a well thought out, oh no, I'm lying. Even the Urs Ulrich bag was spontaneous and so was the Hawaii bag. Okay, so scratch that. <laughs> These are all bags that I genuinely fell in love with at first sight. I guess I made good spontaneous decisions. My husband and I were married within six months of meeting, so I just make good decisions. <laughs> I think the tags are so much fun, so I'm gonna keep it going. I am going to tag Mrs. Ashley, Lula LV, and Rakita's Closet. So everyone watch for their five LVs that I fell in love with at first sight and why video. But I also wanna do something else that's a little fun. I'd like to tag a channel that I love to watch, but it's a luxury channel, not necessarily a handbag channel. The channel is called Fifi's Corner. She does reviews on fragrances. I think it would be super fun Fifi, if you do a video on the top five Louis Vuitton fragrances that you fell in love with at first smell. So I'll link everyone below. We're definitely growing as a community and this is so much fun. So be sure to check out all of their videos and subscribe to their channels. You know that I love and appreciate you. I thank you so much for just giving me your time and be sure to check out this next video so I can see you in the next one. Bye.